In case you forgot, my name is Monty and I'm delighted you're here. Thank you for joining me. I've been very busy. I'm sorry I haven't been able to get any videos up in the last month or so, but I've been writing like crazy. And on the second book, Chasing After Justice, there comes another book. And I've written 22 or 23 chapters of that second book already. And I'm trying like crazy to get it ready so we can release it in the fall. No promises, but that's a goal. At any rate, it's kept me very busy all day long, and I'm sorry that I haven't been able to get down here. I've had this guitar top and back ready to go for quite some time, and what I'm going to do right now is show you what I've done and how it fits, and then what we're going to do is come back here. I'm going to take these go bars, and we're going to glue this thing on today and call it a day and make that thing work. So. What do you say we go and have a look at the top here? So this is our top. She's all done. We've got everything we want. All the bracing is cut, all obviously glued in place, thinned down on the ends. And then along in the side, the rims of the guitar, in and along here, I want to be careful of that, I have cut in here all kinds of little notches where the cross pieces here are going to absolutely be perfectly fit and go in there and they're going to be glued right to the side of the rim. So this top gets glued all the way around here. I don't know if you can see this but I've got a little pencil mark around here. That was simply to guide me in sanding to bring it down close to the edge because we'll run the router around that and trim it up. So we're going to glue the top all around here, but I do it by putting the glue on here and then we will just simply put this thing on like this and there it is. It fits perfectly. I have the center line here and the center line here all lined up so I know I've got the guitar top straight to the body. Now there's another couple of things I want to talk about that are really important. There's a sequence that you need to follow when making a guitar. This cutout, this is just simply a piece of paper. It fits over the arm rest. And the reason I have that is because once the top is on here and glued in like that, I have no idea where this is. So in order, once it's, we run the router around the edge and put the edge on it, I can now put this back on here trace it and I know where the armrest will actually blend into the guitar along the side of the body. That allows me to cut away on the armrest in order to make that curve over that you've seen on so many of my guitars. So that is an important thing. Now in the last video I also said we were going to put in the sound port because it gave me the opportunity with the top off I don't know what I was thinking at the time. I don't want to do that because once I put holes in here in the side of the guitar, when the router is running around and it's got a little wheel on the bottom to guide it so that I get the exact width of the kerfing cut off the edge to put the, or the binding to put that on the channel, if it comes around to here and drops in one of those holes, that router is going to come like this and then move this way and put a great big mark into the guitar like this that you're not going to fix, which means making a new guitar top. So I didn't do that. It's still solid the way it's going to be. So it will run right around. We'll cut it and then I'll have to reach underneath and this time be careful enough not to push the drill through into my finger like I did the last time. So what we'll do now is we'll go back over here to the, gar the go bar deck. I will then glue up all the, the sides of the guitar. I will put this on here. Now, one last thing. You, you notice the bracing is in here. I've got this all clamped so that the side, it's all perfect. It's, it's, it can't move. So once the top goes on, it's not going to put enough pressure that it could cause something to do this and the sides change and come in. 
and we'll be careful with that on the reverse side. I normally do the back side first, and this is the only guitar, I think, where I've done the top side first. I want to see inside and make sure we've got everything filled perfectly, cleaned out. It's just the way I am. I can't help it. Anyway, let's head over there and we'll get to the next phase of this particular video. All right, I have the body over here. I'm ready to put the glue on and I've got a bunch of pieces here that have cork on the side. What I did is I bought some wood and I bought some cork sheeting and I glued it to the wood and then I cut it up because I'm going to be placing this around the body of the guitar once the glue is on the push here. All right, here we go. And it is all perfect in place. It's down tight. Now you may be wondering why I did this and I did this. That's because up here at the neck block, it's about that wide and I've got two pieces. I want to make sure that it's fully glued and that it's clamped right down to the entire surface. This is plywood down here at this end. It's Baltic birch. And so I want to make sure I've got that well covered. Now I can come back and look at each of the joints. I know I've got one running across here and I know I've got these running around here like this. So I could take this and put this directly over top of the spot where the bar is coming through. leave this for a couple of hours now and let it really set up nice and tight. I'm going to leave it probably a little longer because I have some writing to do <laughs> upstairs on the computer for what is it chapter 23 I think it is or perhaps four I don't know we'll have to go and look I don't remember. Um, at any rate there you go the top is glued on and once we have this all set I will turn it over and I will go inside and clean it up inside, take out the squeeze out, and I'll get scrapers and little things in order to tidy that all up because I want it nice and clean inside. Well, that's it for me. Uh, I've earned a cup of tea today. I'm sorry it's been so long. I'll try to get some more videos up for you. The back is next, and then once that all takes place, you'll see me use the router on this. And then we'll get to the back. The same thing with the back. Once it's glued on, we hit it with the router. And then we're all very good all the way around, glued on. We're ready then to start building the neck and figure out where we're going to put the joints and how we're going to set that all up. And then we've got the bridge. So we're moving right along, believe it or not, even though it's been a while. So, all right, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for joining me. Sorry it's been so long. Another one soon. Bye for now.